everybody. Welcome to this edition of Whiteboard Wednesday from Veterinary Practice Solutions. I'm Dr. Amanda De La Pena, a veterinarian from Pittsburgh, and today's topic is These Stats Don't Lie, Managing Your Practice Objectively. So my question to you, quite simply, is are you busy or do you feel busy? And I think this is a really important question for all practice owners and managers to ask because some days uh, really can lie to you. So I think we've all been there. You have those crazy days where just everyone is running around and it feels so busy and you are just sure that this is, you know, the most productive day you have ever had. And then you look at the numbers at the end of the day and you're terribly disappointed and you go, how in the world, you know, is, is this all we did? It felt like so much more. Uh, there you are thinking, hey, I need to hire more staff. We better, you know, start uh, increasing our, our inventory. Um, in reality, you just didn't actually do that much. Um, and then you have other days where, you know, things are super calm, everything is flowing well. And at the end of the day, you just can't believe how productive you actually were because it didn't feel so busy. Um, you know, and I think that really important part is the feeling versus the being of busyness. And so really, how do you know the difference? Um, and what I'd like to do is just take a few minutes here and try to help you take the guesswork out of making these management decisions. Uh, so the question really is, how do you do it? How do you know if you're busy or you feel busy? The answer is you have to keep score. Uh, and so, you know, just like in sports, um, just like in many arenas of life, knowing the score really helps you kind of make decisions and call plays. And so what we want to figure out is, are you winning or losing the game of veterinary medicine? And how can you be certain about that? Uh, and so the very easy answer for that is by using statistics. Um, so really, what is a statistic? Uh, let's start there. And it's just a number or amount compared to an earlier number or amount of the same thing. So a statistic for veterinary medicine could be something like uh, patients seen last week versus this week, or blood panels sent out last week versus this week. Um, you know, it's just comparing one thing from one time to another time. And so I really love statistics for a few reasons. The first being um, that simply they are objective. Um, you know, it's really hard to, um, to put feelings into something that is just data. Um, and secondly, they're accurate. Uh, and so really, when we when we talk about keeping good statistics for your practice, um, this is the way to to really make this great decisions to lead you to growth. It is your roadmap for practice management. Uh, and so, you know, so using some good statistics and getting them in and, and, and regularly looking at them is really the key to to certainty and to making good decisions and to helping your practice grow. Uh, now, statistics, you can, you know, you can look at stats every day. You can look at them every hour. You can look at them weekly, monthly, yearly. Um, personally, I really think weekly stats are the way to go. Um, they, I feel that they're the most just helpful with decision making and for planning. Um, and, you know, they really um, are a, a, just a nice chunk of time so that you're not over or under reacting, but that you are, you know, reacting appropriately and making changes before it's too late. Um, so some really great stats that you can keep pretty easily. Um, one I think we all do hopefully look at is, is value of services delivered or basically just your profit. Um, but another really few great ones, um, a num number of new clients each week. That is a, a really great statistic. It helps you know how you're growing, know when to bring more doctors on, helps to know when to staff up. Um, your average client, tra client transaction um, is one where, you know, are your prices appropriate? And, you know, are you providing the care that you should be should be doing for your clients. Um, percent of appointments kept is a really another, just another great stat. Are your people showing up? Um, you know, and all of these things can kind of look at different areas of the practice as well. Are your doctors kind of doing what they should be doing? Is your front office staff getting people in and scheduled appropriately and making sure they actually show up on time? Um, 
And then we can get even into even more advanced statistics, um, things like practice efficiency index. So, you know, how well are you doing what you're doing with the people that you have? This can be a great stat to say, you know, do we need to hire or do we need to train? Um, and I think this is a super important question, especially right now when people are having staffing difficulties, uh, is that sometimes if you look at that efficiency index and realize that, oh, maybe we're not so efficient, um, it's not more people that you need. It's just people better trained to do their jobs. Um, and then looking at your reserves, this is a really important one too, because we all want to have a reserve fund. And so if we don't know that week after week that is growing, that can be a big problem and it can make it really hard to make good decisions about where to take the practice. Um, you know, and so veterinary practice solutions can help you with these stats and many, many more. But the idea is that I want you to really kind of start just tracking some things. Um, and what to really, really take from this is that you can make management decisions based on real data and not just your feelings. Um, and it, by, by graphing stats and looking at them and using them to plan, you can be certain. And it feels great to be certain about the decisions that you're making. Um, you know, decisions like needing more staff or is it time to expand um, or where in your practice are your pain points and do you need more training? Um, are your prices appropriate? All of these things, you know, really can, can be answered just by keeping some simple numbers. And so, you know, making these decisions and feeling that certainty is just as simple as starting to, to keep track. Okay. So a couple action items for you guys, um, kind of homework, if you will. But I'd like you to start just keeping some basic, basic statistics for each week in your practice. Um, and it's really helpful if you graph these. So I love line graphs. You can kind of see, are we going up? Are we going down? Um, you know, happy face, uh, fat face. Um, and then I, I really want you to look at these numbers and compare the actual data, the actual numbers you're getting with how things felt to you, because I think this is really eye opening. Some times, you know, like we said, some days that just feel so busy and so crazy um, can kind of be a little disappointing when you get down to it. Um, and the other days that feel like maybe they weren't as productive end up being your your best days. Um, so really look at that data wise versus versus how things feel. And I think you'll notice very quickly that you need that objective data. Um, and then as you do this, I just want you to watch your management decisions improve and your certainty grow. Um, and finally, uh, I really encourage you to reach out to Veterinary Practice Solutions for more guidance. This is just the tip of the iceberg with everything they can help you with as far as practice management goes. So I really hope that was helpful, guys. Reach out if you have questions. Um, thank you so much. And if you enjoy, enjoyed this, please like and follow for more. Thank you.